So in this video, we'll look at uh, how we analyze a section if uh, the steel doesn't yield. Um, so what we're going to look at is our same uh, rectangular section that we've been looking at before with um, some um, area of steel. And so we'll have the depth of our compression block being C and the, the depth to the centroid of our steel being D minus C. So we can draw first our strain diagram, once again, with a magnitude uh, of 0 0.003 at the uh, upper compression uh, fiber. We'll have a linear strain diagram down to our str uh, strain in the steel. Um, and once again, we can see our curvature will be there. Uh, so then we can draw our stress diagram. Um, we're going to assume a uh, rectangular stress block like we did before with 0.85 F prime C uh, being the uh, magnitude of, of the stress and the depth being beta 1 times C. Then the force, or I guess the stress in our steel will be FS. So the force in our steel will be AS times FS. Uh, so what we can do first is we can figure out the um, stress and the strain in our, in our steel. Uh, so like before, our steel strain is going to be, um, we can use similar triangles and find our steel strain to be 0 0.003 times D minus C over C. So then our steel stress is once again just this value, uh, this equation times the modulus of the steel. Um, so then we can plug this into our compression equals tension expression. Uh, so our compression side will have um, the same as we had before. So we'll have 0.85 F prime C beta 1 B times C and this will now be equal to our, our tension which is the stress in our steel times the area of our steel. So we'll have 0 0.003 ES AS times D minus C over C. So if, uh, you can see kind of how I'm laying it out. We're going to have a quadratic where our variable is um, C. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll multiply through by C. 0.85 F prime C beta 1B times C squared and we'll bring uh, all the terms to the left. So we'll be adding 0 0.003 ES AS times our C and then subtracting our D term. So point zero zero three ES AS D. This will all equal zero. Um, so you can see how we, we laid it out and our unknown is C, so we'll need to solve for C. And then we can just uh, use this value of C uh, in all of our expressions. Um, so we can use it in our MN expression again. So our MN then would be the stress in our steel times the area of our steel times D minus beta 1 C over 2. Um, so this is how we can find our C and how we can find our nominal moment uh, if our steel doesn't yield.